Wow, it's Wolsey. Today, we are going to discuss one of the most important aspects of creating a Geometry Dash level. The block, figuratively and literally, can elevate Geometry Dash creating to new heights. This video will cover the careful art of placing a block in Geometry Dash. With block knowledge, you can gain the high ground over creators that are unfamiliar with this prestigious technique. The block provides a safe platform for the cube to stand on as it traverses the level. If used incorrectly, it may impose such pain on a cube that it actually dies from the touch, such as being hit from the side. The cube has slight safety precautions built into it, displayed via the blue square drawn here, which appears slightly smaller than its whole outline, but it'll still perish when making contact with the block's blue square. As you can see, blocks are also dangerous when being hit from below. So, to potentially save a cube's life today, please consider placing an edge object below your objects. This will install a safety cushion underneath the block that will protect the cube. This will soothe the cube and make it more friendly. Torture devices pose a serious threat to the icon community and must be protested against. It's not just cubes that are at risk, it's everyone here including the ball community. To contribute to the Geometry Dash Icon Society, make sure to comment hashtag stop ball squashing underneath this video. It's terrible. Let's not forget, blocks actually terrorize the wave. A single bit of unprotected contact will demolish it. To make this sink in a little bit harder, let's interview the wave as it approaches the block. Hey man, you don't have to do this man, I got a wife and mini wave at home man. Isn't it just horrible that people would subject you to this? Yeah, man, just let me go, man. This is scary, man. I wish more people would use D-blocks, man. Oh, D-blocks? What are those? Man, they let me slide, man. It's kind of cool, man. Can you place one here, man? I'll show you, man. Okay. Places D-block furiously. Hey, man. Thank you, man. I'm gonna like and subscribe to you, man. This is awesome, man. Let this be an important lesson. D-blocks and wave parts let them slide on the block and survive. Bro, what were you recording? <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain. Dude, I was trying to sleep, and then you start talking about like waves and like like children, like mini waves. Like what? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, it is 1 a.m. To be fair, uh, my bad. I'm sorry Dude, about that. Can I go to bed? <laughs> uh, yeah, but can I give you some geometry dash knowledge first? Okay. You want some geometry dash? What, what do you want to know? Do you want to know how to place a block? Sure. You wanna know how to place a block? This is this is really important. You better listen to this, right? I think I, I think I know how to do that. I mean, I'm right in the middle of the show, so if you just let me like get set up and I'll. Can I'll, I go I'll, to, I'll, Can I go to sleep? No, no, just give me like a few minutes and I'll, I'll make it quick, okay? It's been like an hour. <laughs> it's, Whoa, fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Like Shh. It's okay. Baby needs a bottle. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, let me get set up. Oh, <clears throat> I can't stand this guy. Let's talk about actually placing a block now. This is a multi-step process, so please bear with me. With Geometry Dash open, as I have right here, you're gonna wanna hit this button on the right with the hammer and the spanner on top of it. Please don't hit me with those, I'll die. The top left button, labeled Create, is the next place to go. If you have any interest in building a red, Top 1 difficulty, hell-themed, straight-flying, wave-spamming, 0.5-speed, frame-perfect, jump-having, extreme demon, please don't hit this button. When you click this button, it will say tap new to create a new level, but don't let it rush you. Before you do that, take a long, hard look at yourself. Do you want to do this? Are you going to lower yourself to becoming a Geometry Dash creator? If you quit now, that's fair, honestly. If you're up for it, click new. Don't worry about having a name on the level or anything like that, only nerds do that. The pinnacle of Geometry Dash creation can be found in the recent tab, where levels don't usually have names, and the ones that do, they make you wish that they didn't. It's so much cooler not to title them. So we're back here, we're gonna view this and then hit the spanner. That's the place to go, but be careful. This will throw you into the deep blue, endless, terrifying ocean that is the Geometry Dash level editor. 
Don't mind the smell. Plenty of optimistic souls were lost at the gates to this place, running away. Also, Para has touched the level editor. I know it's scary, but try not to think of the amount of objects at your disposal here. Disposal's the right word, I think, since what you're about to make will be garbage. And don't be alarmed if you're drawn to the rainbow blocks, it's natural. So is the fire objects, you know, it's just... Uh, the first time creators, even though it's a disease, just please try your best to abstain and stay focused on the task at hand. Cycling back here to the regular Geometry Dash block as this is our focus right now. This is a very delicate task. We have to actually figure out how to get the block that you see right here into the level. When you mouse over this object and click, you'll see the box turn a darker shade of grey. Don't worry, you didn't kill the block, although it wishes you did. You've just selected it. Now please, remember the risks that we've clarified. It's so important for the welfare of the Geometry Dash Cube and Icon community. This white line you see on the ground is the bottom floor that the cube will rest on. Let's give it a little test just to see. Ah yes, the cube is now gliding along. If we click, you'll see that the cube makes up two blocks of height in the air. You see that? Isn't that awesome? And it caps at the top of the third. So, that means this is a safe ceiling to place. The cube won't make it that high and it won't die from touching the bottom. If you go lower, please make sure you donate that sweet H block. So when you play the level and make it all the way over to that block, that you will not die from touching the bottom. You see? The cube will jump three blocks forward and one block up. That is a terrible demonstration. Please can I jump on the grid? Thank you, that's decent. Let's put down some markers. We have the jump that starts right here, and then we go four to the right, one up, and that is a consistent jump that the cube will always make. You can make that jump forever, as I'll demonstrate right now. See, look. This is the perfect distance. At this rate, we can jump the white stairs to heaven. This is perfect. It's always gonna make it every single time. And I can just sit back and eat popcorn. Mmm, I love popcorn. Okay, maybe not forever, but that's all she wrote. Thank you so much for watching. This is just fantastic. It's my pleasure to teach you the joy of creating and placing blocks in Geometry Dash. It's just such a complex topic. I felt like I had to make a whole video on it. And uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say. So thank you so much. Check the links in the description. Leave a like and subscribe and have a good day.